Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Anna from Cut and Carve and in today's video I'm going to clean my laser cutter for the very first time. The laser cutter I have is the Mr. Bean 2 which I bought in a Kickstarter campaign back in 2016. Mine was delivered in December of 2017 and I have been using it for a lot of projects since then. A lot of those I show on my Instagram account, so if you're interested, go check that out. The materials I use most are probably different kind of woods, like cutting boards and plywood. I also use a lot of felt. Lasering wood causes a lot of smoke, unfortunately, um, which causes the lens of your laser to clog over time. So. My laser has been losing some power lately, so to get it back to its full functionality, I figured it's time for a deep clean. Mr. Beam states that you should give your laser head a deep clean every 100 operating hours. In my stats, it says above 100%, but I assume in the last two and a half years, I accumulated way more than that. So, time to get into it. Okay, just to be clear beforehand, I have never done this before, so I have no idea what it looks inside. I will be following the official Mr. Beam cleaning instructions. I will put the link for you down below. First things first, I got my tools prepared. So the instructions call for a keyboard vacuum. I don't have that. I don't want to buy one. So I'm going to try to substitute that for some brushes. These are makeup brushes, brand new, so perfectly clean. And I will use a metal straw to apply airflow if needed. We'll see. Next up, I got some Q-tips, some lint-free wipes, my Allen screw, and some glass cleaner. They say you should not breathe in any particles that we are about to clean out. So if you want, you can use some goggles, some face mask, just to be safe. Next, we will get the laser head disconnected. I pulled the power plug about 10 minutes ago, so we can pull the cables safely. There are actually a few contacts there. If you hit those while there's still electricity in the system, you will fry the whole thing. Happened to me, not fun. Okay, and here it is. Let's open this baby up and let's get all that gunk out. So first, let's take a closer look together. Looking pretty standard from the outside, I think. I know the front is pretty brown, looks pretty burned. I guess that's all the, the residue from, from cutting all of that wood. Let's see how well this will come off. So I'm going to take this apart. First, the hanging rail comes off pretty easily. I will put the screw back on just so I won't lose it. This is the Allen screw, it's two millimeters. Let's open this thing up. And here it comes. Second one. And it's out. So, just a quick look. And here it comes apart. And, no. Why doesn't it? Oh. 
Okay, that's not that bad. Wow. Okay. You can see the lens there and the electronics. I really expected this to be way dirtier. Wow. Okay. So, this thing has to come off somehow. Oh, yeah. So, let's clean all that rough stuff out first. Next up is the filter. I will just blow there gently. And get all that fine dust out there. I'm gonna wet this wipe just a little bit and see if I can get any more out. Well, it doesn't come off that well on the outside. Well, I'll take it. Next is the lens. So, just wet that Q-tip a bit and then very gently wipe that lens down. First with the wet side. Okay. Make sure not to leave any lint behind and then with the dry side. Let me just clean this up a bit. And now we're going to put it back together. So, fan goes here. Um, okay, I think the lens was down there, yes. Huh. The cable is too short. Was it that short before? Hmm. Just fit it down. Hmm. No, this can't be right. Let's see if this comes together. Oh, yeah, of course. So the pointy tip goes on the, on the top right. Yes, this is better. Yeah, yeah, it says that. Okay, so now second part and yes this is looking good this is looking good here is the outlet for the laser beam now the front plate and the screws front plate so Here's the plug for the cable. 
which has to be on the back side. Cables going in between. Gonna pop that baby in. And yes, that fits. Okay, now for the screws. The screw is not quite taken. This is actually pretty hard. I can't see anything. I can see where where the screw is about, is about to, to fit and the, it has to sit perfectly flush for them to get a grip. I guess this is just trial and error. Ah, now here we go. Okay. This was actually the hardest part, so... Let's get that last one on and this one is no this is not correct and um, yeah this one works Woo here we are okay we're done as good as new at least I hope it is it wasn't as complicated as I thought it would be. Um, it took me about 16 minutes, I think, taking it apart, cleaning it, putting it back together. It's actually something you can do at home, even as a beginner. So, to see if it worked, let's give it a test. So these are the test cuts before and after the cleaning. Before are these, after are these. This was actually the recommended settings from Mr. Beam for this kind of material. See, didn't work. From the back, not even close. I actually, before the cleaning, I had to go half speed of the recommended settings to get a clean cut. Not good. After, not only is the recommended setting working, but it also works with one pass less. Not too bad. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. I will see you the next time.